From the very beginning, this effort seemed to be of God. God sent us the right people at the right time. He sent us the drop, seemed to drop money in our laps right at the time that we needed it, but never too much. And it was as if Georgia Interfaith and Power and Light belonged to God. Now that view could sound presumptuous, and we only hold it with the deepest humility. We belong to God, and we can't ever forget that. But there's another belonging that is central to our life together. The earth does not belong to us. The central heresy of our day, perhaps, is how human society has drifted into the conceit that the earth belongs to us to do however we want to with it. If either of these crucial belongings gets reversed, there is serious trouble. Some groups have gotten the idea that God belongs to them, and therefore they are invincible and always right. That view is bound to create trouble. And large segments of our society act as if the earth belongs to them, and therefore they can treat it any old way that they want to. They can fill the air with poison, pollute the waters with trash, corrupt the soils with toxins, and all of us, even the most environmentally committed, from time to time, drift into behaviors that reflect that view. So it behoves us, especially those of us in the faith community, to continuously re-examine our practices so that our belongings are true. We belong to God. We belong to the earth. And we do this so that we our children and our children's children, out as far as we can imagine, can continue to enjoy life on this beautiful planet. Thank you for being with us in this crucial work. It seems to me amazing that we've been called to work that calls, called to work that calls us to fall in love over and over again with the whole cosmos and with each other. So I'm very grateful to have fallen in love with you and with my crocuses and with everything on the planet. And I think it's that lovingness that will sustain us as we move into the future. The phrase that Gipple's working with is navigating for the next decade. And I think that's just a wonderful phrase to work into the future with. And I was thinking about navigators over time and the risks that they took even falling off the side of the earth and looking at the stars and for us, asking for directions and paying attention to the reality and being willing to turn around and come up with a new plan. So I look forward to navigating with you for the next 10 years.